Hi Cancer and welcome to your December 2019 reading. Thank you so much for your patience. I will leave all my links down below. Likes, shares, comments, and subscriptions will be greatly appreciated. I am working with the Wild Unknown Oracle along with the Enchanted Maps Oracle. I call on my guides and your guides and all beings alike to assist me with this reading and that everyone watching this gets a clear and accurate message for them. So I'm just going to start shuffling. And it's interesting because Spirit's showing me a an axe. So I don't know what that's about. So I would look up, if you guys are interested in symbols, I would look up, you know, what axe means for you guys, you know, as far as a symbol. But really what I'm feeling is just detachment. You know, a lot of you need to break down some hard core beliefs that is really harming you and it's keeping you stagnant okay that's just what i'm picking up and i'm feeling a lot of lightheadedness for you guys and i just and i'm seeing the animal guide you know the pig so that's interesting so again look up those look up those symbols okay I feel like there's going to be another one because I like to have at least six cards, you know, so that way we have a different amount of energies. And then I'm going to pull from this stack and then I'm actually seeing the angel number 31 and 37. So those are also things you can write down and look into and research after the reading. I always like to give you guys you know, visions, symbols, numbers that spirit guides give me during your guys' forecast. So that way you can, you know, dive deeper into it and do journaling or, you know, just kind of go off the energy that I received during this time. So the first card you have is coming apart. So the energies here are just very... Again, I'm seeing limitations. I'm seeing obstacles and roadblocks. You know, I'm seeing an orange candle. So a lot of you need to start working with color therapy, I feel, in the month of December. Um, I'm getting, like, goosebumps as I'm talking about this. So that's confirmation that a lot of you are feeling roadblocked. You need to work with things that is going to assist you with feeling like things are coming apart so things can come together. The other cards I'm just going to flip over right away since they did kind of peek out when I was shuffling. So you have Ride the Wave and Flying. So this is just saying that there is things that are coming that a lot of this things you've been going, a lot of the things you've been going through has been hardships and struggle, but it's not all for nothing because the other card that's coming into this reading for you is flying, which tells me that there is new beginnings. There is higher realms of assistance, blessings, and your guides are trying to get you to see something from a different point of view, a bird's eye view. You really need to start looking at things more on a spectrum of Almost, it's not really a spectrum. How do I explain it? But more of a, a, a more of a point of view that is less limiting is what I'm getting, you know, because that's the theme of this reading, I feel. So I just feel like spirit wants you to take, it's like they want you to be present within yourself, but how far are you going with that? How is that serving you? Are you becoming almost self, um, kind of self-isolated, you know, or self, it's kind of like a self-prophecy, but it's not really. It's just kind of like you are too guarded, maybe, okay? Because I'm seeing the swords, and I'm seeing a bunch of swords being laid out in front of me. So a lot of you are too ready to fight, and it's not for the things you want. It's for the things you you don't want. So it's almost like the, the reverse of law of attraction. It's very strange energy. But let me go ahead and see what these other cards are about because now we have Sea Serpent. So you need healing, obviously. You need deep healing, deep ocean vibes. The Sea Serpent, in my opinion, is about... And this is kind of where I'm going with this because I'm seeing a couple different things. Circles. Circles is unity. It's a cycle. You know, the cycle of the universe. The moon is where I'm getting at because I'm seeing the, you know, the glare here. 
And then the thing that I've never seen with this card before, but I'm seeing for you guys right now clairvoyantly, is as you can tell, it looks like the evil eye. So a lot of you are almost worried too much. You are too focused on being hurt, okay? So the evil eye is actually being internalized to the point where it's almost like it's just a very weird energy because I'm seeing almost like a bounce back. So it looks like people are, you think people are directing it to you, but actually it's just yourself and it's bouncing backward, if that makes sense. So try to do some deep seated, um, like I, I see like you need to do some visualization sitting in a straight back chair um, imagining yourself being submerged in the sea and how, you know, Yim, Yima, Yimya or Yimye or however you say her, um, the goddess of the sea, submerging you and asking you, to, it's okay, she can mother you, you can mother yourself, allow all that to be just taken away and you can have the stability within yourself with the straight back chair, you know, if you got to submerge yourself in water a little bit to assist you with this visualization, go for it. But even just making some, she's showing me a lot of yellows. So a lot of blues and yellows. So I'm seeing almost like, um, I'm trying to think of the, is it cornflower and also Kondalua, Kondalua? Kondalua? I can't say it guys. I'm having a hard time today. But anyway, I'm seeing like a like almost like a Reiki spray or like a sea salt spray with those two herbs and in intermix. So I might actually put that on my shop for sale. I can make that with infused with Reiki because I feel like that's important. I feel like a lot of you guys need that. You need to be heard. You need to you purge and let go because a sea serpent is coming to you not as a not as someone that is going to uh because I'm seeing, again, I'm seeing a lot of fear-based energies within this card right now, clairvoyantly. It's almost like you're waiting for someone to come underneath the deep blue sea and attack you and hurt you and poison you. It's just a lot of emotions, a lot of fear-based energy. The bear in reverse is telling me that a lot of you guys are isolating for the wrong reasons. Uh, and also the bear is someone that hibernates, right? Because that's natural for this kind of energy. But with it being in reverse, it's telling me you might be, it's it's almost like you have took off the focus of your core beliefs. And this is what's causing some hardship and also some uh, almost psychic drainage, okay? Because you are not gathered, and I'm getting a headache, okay? So I'm feeling like a lot of you just need to regather your beliefs reprioritize and to really see where you're going because right now there is a lot of limiting beliefs there's a lot of old stories there is a lot of reasons that is causing you to feel I don't want to say victimized but it's almost like a very unsure energy it's very draining it's dizzy energy it's just tizzy dizzy is what I'm hearing from guides so it's just not a very good energy for you guys but in the but in the month of December, we have the stingray. And with this being in reverse, again, this is saying stop worrying about defensive um, energies. You know, you don't always have to be on guard. Um, if you are surrounding yourself with positive love and light from the internal and exuding it outward, you're not going to have to worry about these energies coming to bite you. And if they do, then that's on these people. It's not on you. You don't have to carry the burden for them any longer. Because I do see within these cards, you might be carrying birdie, burdens for other people. You know, you've rode the way for people waiting for them to come to you. You've fallen apart in some sense, but you're not getting this energy that you are absolutely needing and wanting. You need to rise above... Um, yourself and your your self-fulfilling prophecies and see that guides are assisting you to move forward and the delay is not from anybody else but yourself and this is a hard truth and some of you might not like me after I say this but it's it's that's what I'm seeing 100% through the cards that's what I'm feeling from my guides it's a very thick very you need to um 
understand your worth and stop compromising it after every after every person that comes in contact with you it's almost like you're sure and then it gets taken away quickly it's almost like I'm seeing someone give someone candy and then they take it away so again where are you giving yourself limited power where's your inner power this month in December, you are going to reassess that. You're going to regain that inner strength and that inner power because in 2020, it's going to be your year if you allow it to be, okay? I do hope that this makes sense. Please like, share, subscribe, and thank you again for your patience, love, and light.